Well, quite frankly, one solitary zombie doesn't really cut it. Uh, we usually have hordes of zombies. So let's address that now. What we want is a new file which we are going to call spawner. So spawner.js and export default class spawner a constructor and we're actually going to pass it in the function that creates our zombies and then we want a constant which is going to be how often we want to spawn a zombie and this will be in milliseconds so we'll default to every second then we'll set a maximum amount of zombies that we will ever want on the screen at one time uh, we'll set this we'll set this fairly low for the moment so we can see what's going on but of course we'll definitely want more than three zombies then we'll assign our create like so and we want to keep an array of all our zombies but we'll keep this spawner fairly generic so that's why we're passing in the uh, function to create a zombie uh, so in theory we can use this spawner to create anything really then we'll use set interval to spawn at that spawn interval and we'll use an arrow function and this will just call spawn singular every spawn interval like so and then we just need this spawn method and we're going to check to see if the number of spawns i.e. the length of the array is greater or equal to this dot max spawns and if it is we won't bother spawning anything we'll just return otherwise we will carry on and we'll call this dot create which will create our zombie because it's that function that we're passing in and then we want to push the new zombie onto our array of zombies like so so control s to save and then we will come back to our index.js and instead of a single zombie we want our spawner in here and we're gonna do new spawner let's auto import our spawner by pressing tab and then we will pass in an object that has this create property which we will assign to our new zombie but we are going to have to use an arrow function 
like so. And then we want a close bracket like that. And then we don't have our single zombie anymore that we need to update. We need to update all the zombies that have been created by the spawner. And so what we can do is here, we will go through all the spawns using an array method uh, for each. And for every zombie in that array, we are going to call zombie dot update. Let's save that. Let's refresh. And as you can see, we have up to three zombies coming in. In fact, what I'll do is let's just expand that out like so. that a bit bigger and let's increase our canvas size to 512 like that and we can clearly see our three zombies coming in in fact let's slow them down a bit like that. And let's up our max spawns to say 30. And every second we can see the zombie horde getting bigger and bigger coming in and attacking our player.